Okay, so I had a comment uh, yesterday on my Raspberry Pi video, uh, RetroPi 4.5.8, the unsupported development builds. These are nightly builds uh, and they're updated very regularly. Uh, if you have a look in the comments, you can see here it says the link is broken. Uh, so what I did uh, was I went into the link. So with the old link, nothing happened. Uh, so if I press return, it goes 404 not found. So basically I deleted the last bit. So the bit after weekly, hit delete, return, and then you can see it gets you into the folder that's got the most recent ones, and it looks like there's only the two most recent ones there, but then I found that there's one that's 10 updates later, so 4.5.18, so I've downloaded it, put it on a stick, so let's have a look. Okay, so I've uh, put my RetroPie USB stick in, and check out this other video to show you how to get your ROMs from a USB stick into RetroPie. Uh, and it also talks about how you scrape the ROMs to get the artwork on, which I haven't done, um, but uh, let's have a look. So let's try N64 first. So let's go for V Rally. And so I haven't done any configuration to this at all. All I've done is set up the controller. Uh, my overclock settings I'll pop on the screen now. Oh, well, that didn't work. Okay, so let's try Stunt Racer 64. Looks like that's going to work. All right, let's see what we can have. Gonna go with that. Okay, A is accelerate. Yeah, feels all right, speed wise. I don't know if you can do tricks on this in the air. Whoa. Oh, out of shape. Yeah, I'd say that feels reasonably fast. So I've quit out by pressing uh, the Xbox button, start and select, which is how I configured it. So let's go, well, let's just try Destruction Derby. Now, Destruction Derby 64, I haven't had anything on the Pi 4 that's ran this well. Uh, and I'm gonna try it with just the default configuration and just see, but generally everything runs it slow, which is a shame because it looks like it's a pretty decent game. I should let it do the start bit because uh, that often is very sketchy, very, very sort of stuttery and uh, and a bit distorted. But it didn't sound like it was on the little bit that I heard. Oh, spoke too soon. Yeah. Th so this is this is normal for this particular game. There's loads of N64 games that work uh, on N64 emulators, but this game's always a bit weird like this. Yeah. No, it's very slow. Right. So let's quit out of that. And I remember in my last video, the PlayStation emulator ran particularly well. So let's see if that's still the case. And I've been playing Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX 2 on my Wii U, but I've been playing the GameCube version uh, with a PS3 controller. All gets a bit complicated. Uh, running in the Wii emulator. And uh, so far, I mean, it's. It's the best version of Dave Mira Freestyle BMX 2. Plus it's going through HDMI. The control, the PlayStation controller works better because of the way that the digital pad is. Um, but uh, I've got to do more tests on that. And I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison. PlayStation 2 graphics and, uh, and the GameCube running through the Wii U uh, through Nintendo and I'm going to see how that looks. But at the moment, I think the GameCube version is the best. Now, I still probably think that this version is the best of all the Dave Mirrors. Even though it's the older one, I think that just the track design is better and the level design. Uh, it's just a more polished game. I think the other, all the other games well, especially BMX XXX, which would have been Dave Mira Freestyle BMX 3, is incredibly rushed and, and not good at all. Dave Mira Freestyle BMX 2 is good, but uh, could have been better. Oh yeah, this is looking good. It just, Dave Mira Freestyle BMX 2, I think runs a bit too fast to be enjoyable. Uh, well, it is still enjoyable, um, but it's, just is that bit too fast, uh, but the graphics are obviously a lot better. This has got the, the usual PlayStation where it looks a bit rough. 
so we're going to slide and land on it. Oh, yeah, and you can't do. So the wheelies aren't as good in this as Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX 2, the manuals rather. Uh, let's give it a go. No. So let's quit out of that. That's, a, that's actually running fine. Go back. What else have I got here? SNES. SNES is obviously going to run well. Yeah, I definitely need to put a few more games on my stick. But let's give this a quick try. Nice stance. Oh, I'm doing it right now. Oh, he's there. Got a point. Right, I wanted to try it as well. Let's just quit out of that. Uh, and interestingly, my screen capture is, is working fine all the way through. Double dragon. If you press a button while it's loading, it allows you to configure and, and select different options. Select emulator, let's try that one. Main 2003, no, it doesn't like that. Okay, so you can get this with MAME ROMs because there's various different versions of MAME, so I won't go through that now. Okay, so for the last one, I think I'll just do a Mega Drive game. Uh, Mega Drive tends to play fine on everything. Streets of Rage 3. Yeah, it's working fine. Okay, so if you want to try it out, obviously the link will be in the description. But uh, but that's working absolutely fine. Looks decent, full screen, nice to see. Just get a little throw in here. Oh, there we go. And uh, interestingly, there's no. Dreamcast version on here, so N64, PlayStation, SNES, Spectrum, Arcade, Game Boy Advance, Master System, Mega Drive. Yeah, so I have definitely got some uh, Dreamcast games on there, but it isn't in this version. It's the official version, but it's the unofficial because it's the nightly build. So if you want the latest version with all the things that they're testing, obviously don't give them any stick if something doesn't work because these are test images, but it's just interesting to try out. But, uh, but yeah, I'd really like to see Redream on there. Anyway, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.